it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today on a video collaboration day, which means there are a number of us who will show you projects all using the perfectly plaid suite. Uh, you can find out who's involved by looking in the description bar below. And also if you pop, hop over to my website, I will add the links there as well. And that the link for that is also down below. So Perfectly Plaid is gorgeous, classic, uh, great for men any time of the year because it is perfectly plaid. So it's pyjamas and winter, winter shirts and those sorts of things. So some of the papers do have Christmas um, pictures, so holly and those sorts of things we've had. Uh, stockings and what have you, reindeer, but the alternative side is all plaid and some of the B-sides are also um, non-Christmas. So don't think of this as just being for Christmas, think of it as any time of the year. So this is the little project that I have got to make with you today. I have to say the bow takes a while to make and I will go through you how I've made it and all the measurements and everything. Um, I have done a bit of a blue peter first, but only a little bit. So let's get started. Um, you will need strips of designer series paper cut at three quarters of an inch wide. Um, I will have the measurements on my website, so don't worry too much. But what you will need is six, and I have stuck these together, six that are measuring six by three quarters. A further six that are five and a half by three quarters, four that are five by three quarters, and one that is four and a half by three quarters. Do not worry; the measurements are in the disc, uh, on the website, which is linked immediately below. So don't worry about that. So the first thing you do is you stick your two pieces together. Um, I've just overlapped them by about a quarter of an inch, and I've used wet adhesive. So I've used our multi-purpose liquid adhesive. Then you're going to make a figure of eight. So you're going to take one piece and turn it to the top and the other piece and turn it to the bottom because you're ending up with that shape. And then you want to, this is where it gets fiddly, you want to apply adhesive to one side or one edge of that. So I'm going to apply a little bit of adhesive, don't go mad with it, because the more you use, the longer it's going to take to dry. So just a small amount of adhesive to there, and then again, overlapping by about a quarter of an inch, hold those two together. And just hold them together. And you're going to end up with a shape that is like this. Now these are my smallest, these are my five by three and three quarters. Um, that's probably just about okay now. And now what I'm going to do is add adhesive to the, the seam underneath. Um, and again, I'm not gonna add a huge amount, just a sort of splodge. Um, it's not that easy to show you, but let me put it on. And can you see the splodge there? And then just form your figure of eight. And you want it to be as narrow as possible, particularly on the larger pieces, the longer pieces, because you've got three that you're going to have to stick together. For these ones, we only have two. So hold those together. So we're going to end up with, for our threes, or our sixes, depending on how you look at it, for our three figure of eights, you're going to end up with a shape sort of like that. Now, I've deliberately chosen patterns that are quite contrasting back and front. Some of them have got darker colours on the inside, but I've chosen lighter colours because I think it shows the the ribbon better, or the bow, uh, but it's personal choice. So having held that together, I'm then going to add a splodge of adhesive there. And these ones I'm only going to form across because these I've only got two of, or four, depending on how you look at it. So that's those. Um, so I'm going to leave those there whilst I do exactly the same thing 
with my three, except obviously I'm going to be forming um, more of a star shape. And you do exactly the same with your larger one. So this is the smaller one. And then you just hold it down for a bit and wait. Now, the single, you just form it into a little ring. Um, so just overlap the ends by a quarter of an inch, and that's easy enough. So adhesive in the middle. And you can go back at various stages and add extra adhesive in. Um, I'm not going to, but obviously for speed, but I'll show you what I mean. So these ones you want offset. So fill the gaps and then the middle you just pop in and we're not going to worry too much about where that goes because it's going to it's going to be kind of four into six doesn't really go is what I'm trying to say. And all the time hold it down. And then for your last piece, make sure you get that with the seam down. And that is your rosette. Now, as I say, you do need to kind of hold it all together whilst the glue um, finally adheres. I did try using tear and tape and, and or glue dots, and you do end up with quite a lot of bulk. This is quite fat. Uh, because you've got all those ends in the middle. Now, I did say you could go back in and add in extra adhesive if you need to. So if you feel that there's any bit that's gaping, which I actually don't, um, you can just put a little bit of glue in. But that is your homemade, uh, and you can make it just out of bits of paper that you've got left over, your homemade ribbon to, ribbon to go on top of your box. Now, these boxes, these are the gold mini pizza boxes are in the same suite so they're part of the perfectly plaid suite um but yeah i think those are great for your you know leftover bits and pieces that you can just use up to go with your tags and what have you so the tag is really easy to make um i've just got a scrap of whisper white paper shaded spruce and shaded spruce being the green that is in the suite, just ink up and stamp. And you want to have your Christmas tree near the edge and with the, the stalk near the edge, trunk, I suppose, being a tree, uh, because that's the way that the punch is going to go in. Let me just close that up. Grab my punch. Now you can bundle the... Um, stamps and the punch and save 10% on the cost of both so always good to know I've got a piece of cherry cobbler paper cut at or card cut at two inches by three and a half and I'm going to use the delightfully detailed tree uh, tag punch delightfully detailed it'll be listed below and on my website it's the new tag punch um, which does two inches, one and a half or one inch widths. So two inch width and, oops, now I've already got dimensionals out, don't need to get more out. Just take a little piece for the bottom of my tree. It's what the edge pieces are for. Well, I mean, it's not, but they're perfect for it. And just remove those. Pop it onto your tag base. And then I have got somewhere. Where did I put them? Away. That's where I put them. Always a plan. Um, these are the new glitter dots that are part of the Christmas Rose um, suite that is available while stocks last. And I think they're gorgeous. So I thought I would use one of those just as our little tree topper there. And then a piece of the shaded spruce and gold striped ribbon. Pop that through there. Grab your rosette. Feed this through one of the bits, the loops. And tie a 
knot. And then you have got a beautiful little gift tag and rosette set to pop on top of one of your gold mini pizza boxes. Just trim that off and then you can hide the end in the loop so that it doesn't, doesn't show. And then you've just got a, a nice loop there and pop it on top of your pizza box. To adhere it, I would just use some tear and tape and you can make loads. These would be great for craft fairs. Um, if you want to make some of these, they, as I say, they do take a bit of time. It's the sort of thing you could do while you're watching television. Then just pop some double-sided tear and tape on the bottom. Um, I'd put two or three strips and then you could sell those at your craft fair. Uh, you may want to add a, a piece of Whisper White on the back of your tag just so that you can write on it, pop, pop a stamp of to and from, and there you are. In fact, you could even sell them on top of your mini pizza box. Wouldn't that be fun? So there we go. A slightly different um, project from me today, but I thought, why not? Let's make some rosettes. They are easy. They're, as I say, a little time consuming. Probably easier on the 12 by 12 because you wouldn't have to do the extra sticking. But yeah. I think really, really great idea to decorate up your Christmas parcels with. I hope you found that enjoyable, fun, interesting. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and visit the other people on the YouTube hop. As I say, they are linked below and over on my website. Hop over to my website to get all the dimensions. I'll try and do some sort of part made um bits so that you can see how to make it as in step by step. Uh, thank you very much indeed. If you don't already subscribe, please subscribe by hitting the subscription button in the bottom right hand corner. If you're in the UK and would like to purchase any Stamping Up products, I would be thrilled if you would choose to shop with me. Uh, my online store is linked below and over on my website. Thank you very much indeed. And if this is the first time you visited me, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.